What up, peeps? Welcome to the Circle of Scent. My name is Rob, AKA Mr. Goodher. And if you happen to start watching this channel, thank you for the view. Please like and subscribe if you like smelling good too. I'd like to think that this is a space where fragrance reigns and always smelling your best is the name of the game. And peeps, speaking of always smelling your best, it's time to get tropical. So starting off from the house of Zaharoff. <sighs> Coco Loco. Look at that package. Look at the packaging. Beautiful. That is just amazing. That just screams just, just summer vacation, doesn't it? It's just like you're, you're, you're already stepping on the on, on uh, you know, just on the, the sands of Rio de Janeiro. I've never been there, but already from the packaging, you know, it's just, it's already putting you in that vibe, right? Oh yeah, this is the... Look at that, I got the purple cap. I got the purple cap. I'm special. Originally, I wanted, I wanted the red cap because I thought the, the red just pops off more but really i mean any of the colors work and it's just the bottle looks just amazing atomizer is okay it's not too bad I've, i have better atomizers i'll be honest you know. oh man let's get into this juice man yeah oh man notes we have, and this is off their website. This is off the official Zaharoff website. Top, we have fresh cardamom from Guatemala, red clementine, juicy pear, and pineapple. In the mid, we have coconut flesh, blonde cedar from Virginia, pimento leaves from Jamaica, neroli petals, star jasmine from the south of France. And the bottom, we have benzoin tears, we have tonka beans from Brazil, heliotrope from the Andes Mountains, vanilla from Madagascar, and white musk. Um, I was shocked and surprised when I first sprayed it on because I was expecting coconut. You know, you're expecting coconut since it's Coco Loco to be, you know, the more dominant presence um, starting out. And that's what I was expecting. And I was wrong. Oh yeah, you get this nice, beautiful, crisp, warm clementine, and it's very juicy, delectable. I almost want to say that Coco Loco is gourmand. You know, I don't, I don't know, I don't know for sure. That's just my guess. And and but I would classify this as a gourmand. I mean, the clementine is just so warm and inviting and soothing. You know, and 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 it's just it's just beautiful. You know, so the the uh, the initial op the initial opening of this clementine is what gets me every time. I just love it. It's one of the, the the best facets of this fragrance, in my my opinion, is that clementine opening. Oh yeah, and it just lingers, and it and it's just it's beautiful. It also sort of reminds me. I don't I don't know if you've ever remember those those orange slices that you would get in the store. Those candy orange slices. You know, it, that's. If you've ever taken a bite of one of those, it has that 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 smell, that that taste. That's what this smells like. It has that that orange clementine candies you would get with the with the sugar um, outside coating. That's exactly what the opening of this smells like. That's the the three phases of the Coco Loco for me. Is you know the top you get that beautiful clementine, uh, um, so sweet, and then it just really you know from the, that it just transformed to the mid to that coconut uh, uh, wood, coconut woody transformation, and then and then from four hours into that it'll dries down to this um, vanilla you know sweetness, uh, which is just delectable. So at all phases of the of the of the the, the fragrance and in. in in my opinion, coconut is not the major player, which is very shocking to me, off my skin. The transitioning of this fragrance is beautiful to me. It has definitely has that vibe, that Rio de Janeiro, just summery, just, you know, on the boardwalk. Yeah, partying with your friends, you know, you got some, 
you know, you got some drinks and just having fun. Very festive, a very festive fragrance. This is gonna be something that's gonna be worn typically in the summer, summer, fall, um, unisex. Um, a man or a woman can pull this off. No, oh, if I didn't show it enough. This is Coco Loco from the House of Zaharoff. If I haven't ranted about it enough, let me say it again, this is beautiful juice. Uh, definitely gonna see this in more videos with me. This is another fragrance that's gonna be huge in my summer rotation. And uh, yeah, here it is. I'm gonna give you, I'm gonna give you the info from the house of Sphinx. I think that's, that's how you say it, Sphinx Fragrances. This is Coconut Daiquiri. How'd I get that right? This stuff is awesome as well. Great, I can, I love it. Man, this stuff is amazing. All right, this, so uh, Sphinx, yeah, I, yeah, I just now started getting into that. Um, I got into them from watching YouTube videos from, from uh, an individual by the name of Neeb. You know, an awesome uh, fragrance reviewer. Check him out uh, from uh, his YouTube channel, Aromatics. He's awesome, he's amazing. And yeah, he collabed with Sphinx Fragrances and they created Coconut Daiquiri. Notes. All right, top we have Coconut lime, bergamot, mandarin, orange. Middle notes we have apple, fruits, alang alang, jasmine, and hibiscus. And base notes we have vanilla, rum, sugar, musk, and amber. You first spray it on and you just get this bright, fizzy, lime, lemon combination along with the coconut. The coconut is there as well. It definitely reminds me of if you've ever, you take a Sprite, a, a can of Sprite, and you, and it's not only just a Sprite, but there's also coconut. So it's a coconut slash Sprite. You open it up immediately and you get that, you get that, that fizzy, you know, fizziness. So that's what this is. You get that bright, you know, combination of lime citruses along with coconut. So it's very bright, very happy. Um, uh, yeah, it, it really is invigorating. It's an invigorating coconut that is just, I dig. Let me tell you, this is an extremely long lasting fragrance on my skin. We're talking 10 to 12 hours. I was shocked, you know? So this is my first ever purchase from Sphinx. I can tell you right now, I do get the apple. So, it, you know, you, the, the apple is a nice transition from, uh, you know, from, from, that, from the tartness of, of, the, of the top. The apple that really does bring that rain that that tartness in and and keeps it nice and, and 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 fruity. And then for me, it's all about musk. This is a very musk 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 heavy fragrance in my opinion, and I dig it. I love it. So yeah. Oh yeah. This is that bright, just bright. Open the can. Oh yeah, with coconut. This is a strong musk on my skin. I love that opening. So, yeah, yeah, I love the musk on here. It's very, very, it's very musky. Definitely, when this, when this thing dries down, it's, yeah, you get that vanilla, you get the rum, you get the sugar, the musk. This is, like I said before, this is a musk heavy fragrance. So, the musk really is, you know, the star of the, the dry down in my opinion. This is this is some strong juice. And I'm not, I'm not getting paid to say anything of this. All of this came out of my pocket and I'm just giving it the seal of approval. I'm letting you know what I'm gonna be rocking and it's definitely gonna be coconut daiquiri this summer. Peeps, once again, I thank you for watching. All right, please subscribe, like. I got more videos coming your way. Let me know what your tropical your, your your tropicals are. What are you rocking with? What what do you got coming geared up coming for your uh, the tropical season? Because it's coming. It's time to get tropical, tropical.